What's up everybody, Danny Crafts here, and welcome to another episode of Crafting with Daniel. On today's episode, I'm actually gonna teach you all how to make your own online website using Wix. Wix is an awesome platform to create, design, and manage your own website. Now, if you're an online seller like me who makes their own items and gets them to people using the internet, I think having your own website is a huge advantage, especially in this market in 2021. I just wanted to give a big thank you to Wix for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to check out the link in my description. I believe it is wix.com slash Danny Crafts. You could sign up and follow along with me in this step-by-step -step tutorial. Uh, but without further ado, let's dive on in. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your website in 15 minutes or less using tools like a business name generator, the Wix logo designer. So we're just going to click get started here. I'm going to dive into my MacBook. Now, if you haven't signed up for an account, you just do it here. Pretty simple stuff. You could sign up with Facebook or Google. I'm just going to log in since I already have an account. Danny Crafts, here we go. Once you are signed up and have created your Wix account, you might see something like this. What you're going to do is click the create new site. So today we are, we are a online store. So what kind of website do you want to create? You have two options here. I'm going to create the website with the editor since I'm pretty crafty, but you don't need to be a designer by any means to do this. With the editor, you simply drag and drop the um, items that you need for your store. They have 80 or more fully customizable online store templates, which you can edit using the Wix editor, or they have, I think, 500 or more online templates that you can use, and then you can sell online using the Wix stores app, yes. So I am someone that's pretty simple, clean, bold, don't like too much confusion, but I do enjoy a little bit of photography. Oh, wow. And they even have some descriptions under the website for what they are for. So since I sell candles and other handmade items, I'm going to choose the natural soap and candle store. Now, I think a big step in creating your online store is to make your own e-commerce brand. Uh, coming up with a brand, a logo, a name can take forever and don't stress out it's not something you need to you know set and stick with i change my logo all the time so once your website is loaded up you will see here that the template is pretty much already set up like a website that you may have seen online before yeah so tons of things to customize here but something that you're going to want to do if you're starting from scratch is start with a business name so i'm actually going to use the wix business name generator which is a totally free tool that Wix offers. And before starting this video, I actually had a list of, you know, 10 or 20 names that really stood out to me. I narrowed it down to three or four, and I'm going to type it in here. I came up with the name West Wick. So I'm just going to generate that name. And the great thing is that it actually shows which names are available and it comes out with all of these, with all of these options for you. So I actually just want to do West Wick. So I'm just gonna add my name into here. Now you've got your business name, you've got your template, now you need a logo and you're not a designer, don't worry. Wix has an awesome logo maker. So we are just gonna click into there and you can actually, the great thing is that you actually ha can save and create new logos all the time. So it's not like you need to make one and stick with it. As you can see, I already had one that said DC for my name, Danny Crafts, that I didn't end up going for because I want to create a website that's different from my YouTube channel where I can just sell my luxury candles. So who do I want to create my name, my logo for? Myself in my small business, create the logo myself, or you can hire a professional Wix designer. What is your logo for? Candles store. We want it to feel modern, creative, fresh. After I finish my questionnaire, they have some options here for me to choose from. I'm already like really liking a lot of these. Oh gosh, this is gonna be hard. I really like this one. So I'm just gonna click it. And then you have all these awesome color palettes to choose from. You could change your text, your font, all of that. Perfect, so I have my logo, I have my color scheme. Now I'm gonna go back to my website I'm actually gonna change the design of that section based on the logo we have just created. As you can see, you can really spend hours and hours on here just 
customizing the heading, your branding, your logo. Since I have that in a good place that I like, I am kind of a psycho for saving. So I'm just gonna click save again. Thank you so much. Now that we have our logo, our business and our name, our business name and our website, we are gonna go ahead and add some products. So you can either sell your own products or you can use something called drop shipping or print on demand services. But since I make my own stuff, I'm going to add products myself. So I'm just gonna navigate here. I'm going to go to the shop, oh, going to the shop section to manage my products. You can add digital files or physical products. I have physical products. Well, I have both, but today I'm focusing on a physical product. So I'm going to add in one of my candles here. Perfect, so I've uploaded two images great features I can just crop crap 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 so I like to have my uh, crop ratio into squares it keeps it super neat and organized So I uploaded my image. I'm going to title this, honey, this is a $50 candle. Write in a simple and clear product description, large white luxury candle, smells sweet. Can add more to that description later. You can see on the right that there are collections, promotions, advanced settings. You can add return policy, care instructions. I will get into all of this when I am not teaching a tutorial. So you can do all of that later. Inventory and shipping. I have one in stock and it is one kilogram. That is important for shipping. Oh, I just noticed this. They actually have subscriptions. One of my goals for this year is to start a subscription for people that want to pay monthly to get some of my products. So that is amazing. I'm actually really excited for that. Okay, I think that's enough just to have the basics. The next step that you're gonna wanna do is set up your shipping regions or set up a shipping solution. So I am from Canada, so I am shipping from Canada to Canada Right now, I only ship to Canada and the United States, so I am going to include that as another region. I do not offer free shipping. As you can he see here, you can make shipping as specific as you'd like, a flat rate, rate by weight, rate by price, or rate by product. So I'm actually gonna choose flat rate. Um, check with your different shipping services to see what amount for different items. I know that this is one kilogram. I'm going to put it in a certain size box and I know that is going to cost around $12. So I also know it's going to be seven to 14 business days. This is to the United States and we are doing standard US shipping. I can also add expedited shipping, express overnight all those different options i'm going to do standard us for now um, these people from the states probably aren't going to do pickup and i'm not going to deliver so i'm going to leave those unchecked and i'm going to save that as a different region i will also set up my shipping settings for canada but let's move on since now we have a product and a shipping method but now that we have products and shipping we're going to continue to the interesting um, topic of sales tax. So then in your settings, there is actually store tax and we are going to actually use the Avalara, don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, automated sales tax. I'm not a tax expert, so I'm going to upgrade to use them. Now, before I continue, I am going to upgrade my sites. Please pause and avert your eyes as I fill out all of this boring paperwork and credit card information. Congratulations, your site is premium. So I wasn't going to get into the step right away, but since I have upgraded, you also get a free domain with the unlimited business e-commerce plan. So I want to name my website Westwick. So we're going to search. I see that westwick.com is not available. And I do, and so they do offer some other ones. There's westwick.net, westwick.info, westwick.shop. I like westwick.shop, but I'm also deciding between westwickco.com. Does that look like Westwicko? It does look like Wicko. I'm not a Wicko. 
So I'm just gonna go with westwick.shop. And the one year is free with your e-commerce plan. So I'm going to select one year, continue there. So I skipped ahead a couple of steps, sorry about that. But in that process, I got my, I upgraded my plan and I um, secured a business domain. As you will see here, it can take up to 24 hours to verify your domain registration. If you have any questions at all, please comment them below and I'll be happy to help you out. Going to keep moving along here. The next step that we're gonna do is to set up a payment method. Of course, you want to get paid and allow people to pay you for your products. So um, the great thing about this is that it has all these different options, credit and debit cards and PayPal. Um, I think I'm going to stick with those two options since that is all I really need to use right now. Perfect. Just like that, I have set up a payment account for people to pay and for Wix to get those payments into my bank account. Please, please hold. My dog is going crazy. Jake, Jake, stop it. The next thing I'm gonna go do is return back to my store editor. I want to see how this is going to look on a mobile. Since a lot of people shop from their phone, you're gonna to wanna to see how this looks on your, you know, smartphone, Android, whatever the kids are using these days. So you can actually use this mobile tool to see how your website is going to look on mobile. So I have these different um, options here. You have a mobile editor for your site. You can change the way things look here and they will not affect how they are on your desktop. I think that is super convenient and something I have not seen before. So I like my settings so far. I'm just gonna click save again. Once you've completed all those steps already, your page is how you would like it. You have all your products on. Once you're ready to go live, you are going to click this publish button. It's ready to go once, you know, it's ready to go. So I have my site, I have it published, and I am ready to start selling. Now, I know we rushed through this, but there are tons and tons and tons of things that you can customize, that you can personalize, that you can make your own on here. For example, at the top, I have an announcement bar. Right now it says free shipping on orders over $50. That does not need to say that. You can have a coupon code, you can have shop announcements. There are so many different things to customize and I'm going to dive in here and make it all my own. If you have any questions about what I talked about, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm not an expert, but we can get through this together. Another tip for you guys is to download the Wix mobile app. You can manage your store, add products, view your orders, track shipping, all that kind of juicy stuff. So make sure to check that out in your app store. In my next video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to use other Wix tools, such as the SEO and marketing, how to get better found on Google, and all of that jazz. I'm also gonna be talking about things like how to recover abandoned carts. So let's say someone is on your site, they add one of your products to your cart, and then something comes up and they happen to leave your site. There's actually something you can do to get back in contact with that customer and try and get them to check out. Hopefully that this video has been somewhat helpful in helping you set up your e-commerce store with Wix. Please make sure to like, comment, or subscribe as that always helps me out with my channel. And hope you all have a lovely afternoon. Thanks for watching.